Shalom. All praises, blessings, glories, and honors to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Racha Kodash. Double honors to my Ella apostles and bishop elders of Great Millstone who have taught me this truth, as well of men of like mind. Shalom wa chasad, which means peace and mercy to the elect of the nation of Israel. Oh, my you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite like foreigners of the Selah of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom are scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great and abroad. To you, I say Shalom. And Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Rataza, this lesson is edifying and informative. This will be a commentary lesson on the video that you brothers and a few sisters see before you entitled U.S. Government Forced to Take the Threat of UFOs Seriously as sightings increase this was uploaded by James Watchman which is the priest Yashalam here in the New York City camp and before I play this video I would like to read the book of Psalms chapter 68 verse 17 which reads the chariots which are the chariots of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai or the so called what the world calls today UFOs or UAPs. These are the chariots, the heavenly vehicles of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Throughout the scriptures, they are referred to as chariots whirlwinds or clouds and the chariots of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai are 20,000 even thousands which the word even is old English for which is thousands of angels the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai is among them as in Sinai in the holy place and so the U.S. government, again, is forced to take the threat of UFO seriously. Because it is a threat to their kingdom. In fact, the so-called UFOs, which are the chariots of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, will also aid in the destruction of the kingdom of Esau Edom. Besides the ICBM nuclear missiles, which are the weapons of the Lord's indignation. In fact, our Lord Yahweh Shai will return in a so called UFO. And let's prove that. Revelation chapter 1, verse 7 Behold, he cometh. Who is the He, or Lord Yahweh Shai? He cometh, and He will come with clouds, with so called UFOs, and every eye shall see Him. All nations upon the earth will see the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai from the east, and from the west, and from the north, and from the south. Every eye shall see Him. And they also which pierced them, those that had pierced our Lord Yahweh Shai when he was upon the earth 2,000 years ago on the cross. These Roman soldiers are back in the regeneration. And they will see the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai when he returns to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Because our Lord is coming back to avenge his people beginning with the elect of the nation of Israel and for what they had done unto our Lord 
they as in the Edomites and two thirds as well because they will also receive judgment and all kindreds of the earth shall wail all kindreds meaning all nations all the tribes of the earth are going to mourn they're going to wail because of him because he's coming back with a sword even so Amen. because with this sword he will render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire and that is written here in Isaiah chapter 66 verse 15 for behold the Lord Yahweh through who? through Yahweh Shai our Lord and Savior will come with fire from the so called UFOs the chariots besides the ICBM nuclear missiles which according to the book of Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 25 are the weapons of the Lord Yahweh's indignation which means his righteous anger which will be the great army according to Revelation chapter 9 verse 16 that will be number 200,000 thousand that is to say 200 million or Lord Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai will use to execute vengeance upon the nation of Esau Edom and their kingdom completely obliterating it destroying it refer to Isaiah the 13th chapter like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire for by fire and by his sword uh oh and that's why all kindreds of the earth are going to wail because of him because when he returns he's going to return back with a sword for by fire and by his sword will the Lord Yahweh through our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah Hamashiach plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai our Lord shall be many and here's the proof Jeremiah chapter 25 verse 33 and the slain of the Lord Yahweh shall be at that day through Yahweh Shai from one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth why because the slain of the Lord shall be many so much so that the slain shall be at that day from one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth they shall not be lamented neither gathered nor buried they shall be dung upon the ground refer to Jeremiah chapter 16 verse 4 okay and their bodies will be food a noise the shall come even to the ends of the earth the Lord promised pardon me the Lord promised the fowls of the heaven a great supper a great meal Revelation chapter 19 verse Seventeen, And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great power, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that ye may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains. Because remember, the slain of the Lord shall be many. And the bodies of the slain will be as dung upon the ground of the earth and the flesh of mighty men and the flesh of horses and the fl and them that sit on them and the flesh of all men all the men of war both free and bond both small and great even the dead upon the streets of the cities Ezekiel chapter 39 
Verse 17. And thou, son of man, dost save the Lord Yahweh. Speak unto every feathered fowl and to every beast of the field. Assemble yourselves and come. And gather yourselves in every side to my sacrifice that I do sacrifice for you. Even, which remember, even is a, is a, a old English word, which means which is. Even which is a great sacrifice upon the mountains of Israel, the governments. That ye may eat flesh and drink blood. And ye shall eat the flesh of the mighty, and drink the blood of the princes of the earth, of rams, of lambs, and of goats, refer to Isaiah 34, of bullocks, all of them fatlings of Bashan, even two-thirds are going to be eaten, that is their dead flesh, because remember, the Lord has reserved Jacob's trouble for, for two-thirds, and there will be many slain. And their flesh shall be for the fathers of the heaven. That ye may, excuse me, that ye shall eat fat till ye be full. <laughs> eat till ye are full, it says, and drink blood till ye be drunken of my sacrifice which I have sacrificed for you. Thus ye shall be filled at my table with horses and chariots, with mighty men and with all the men of war, save the Lord Yahweh. So, all these things are prepared, man. So now let's go back to the book of Psalms. But let's go to chapter 104. I know I was going to do a commentary, but the Spirit has me just locked in. Chapter 104, verse 3. It says, Who laid the beams of the chambers in the waters? Who make up the, the clouds. There goes the word clouds again. Which are the chariots. Okay. Who make up the clouds as chariots. So now. We know what. Clouds. Refer to. And. It is mentioned. In and throughout the scriptures. For those of you out there that. Hadn't previously known. Now you do. Through the spirit and power. Of Yahweh. Bahashem. Yahawashai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash. All praises, all blessings, all glories, and all honors unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahawashai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash. Okay, who make the clouds as chariots, who walketh upon the wings of the wind, who make of his angels spirits, his ministers a flaming fire. Okay, <clears throat> so now let's go through this video recent, uh, real briefly. On Capitol Hill today, a bipartisan call for more government transparency on UFOs, or as the military calls them, unidentified aerial phenomena, UAPs. Three retired military veterans testified before a House com a subcommittee. One was asked about alien bodies. Two others talked about seeing UAPs. In a moment, I'll talk with a retired Navy pilot who saw with her own eyes what one UAP was capable of off the coast of San Diego years ago. First, more on today's testimony from CNN's Oren Lieberman. Nah, bro. It's a chariot, bro. Yeah, look on the ASA. The videos of mysterious airborne objects have captured the public's attention. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Oh, I think, dude. And perhaps it's imagination. There lies a pressing demand for government transparency and accountability that cannot be overlooked. As Wednesday's hearing focused on the threat they may pose and whether the government has been too secretive about what it knows. If UAP are foreign drones, it is an urgent national security problem. If it is something else, it is an issue for science. In either case, unidentified objects are concerned for flight safety. David Grush, a former military intel officer, claimed the U.S. had alien bodies in spacecraft, a statement for which he admitted he has secondhand info and no proof. You've said that the U.S. has intact spacecraft. You said that the government has alien bodies. I have to be careful to describe what I've seen uh, firsthand and not in this environment. Have you seen any of the bodies? That's something I've, I've not uh, witnessed myself. The House oversight hearing was a rare moment of bipartisanship in a sharply divided Congress. We're not bringing little green men or flying saucers into the hearing. We're just going to get to the facts. We should encourage more reporting, not less, on UAPs, 
the more they under we understand, the safer we will be. One of the witnesses was former Navy pilot Ryan Graves, who now runs Americans for Safe Aerospace, a group that encourages pilots to report incidents of UFOs, officially known as UAP, Unidentified Aerial Phenomena. The vast majority of sightings... And they're identifiable throughout the scriptures. We just read a scripture that proves that in the book of Psalms, chapter 104, verse 3. Let's read it again. Who lived the beams of his chambers, Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh shall lay the beams of his chambers in the waters, who make of the clouds, and this is the point, who make of the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon, excuse me, the wings of the wind. So this scripture itself proves that the so-called UFOs are identifiable. The elect knows what the so-called UFOs slash UAPs are. They are the clouds of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh the chariots, the heavenly vehicles that are manned by the angels, which are ministering spirits that are a flaming fire, as it is written here in the fourth verse, who make of his angels spirits, his ministers a flaming fire. The word angel means messenger. Okay. Things he says are never reported. This is an approximation based off of my personal experience speaking with a number of pilots, but uh, I would estimate we're somewhere near 5% reporting, perhaps. The three witnesses, all retired military veterans, warn the threat these objects pose is real. Based off of your own experience or the data that you've been privy to, is there any indication that these UAPs could be uh, essentially... Uh, Collecting two reconnaissance thirds. information, Mr. Graves? Because they're going to be zapping two thirds too. Yes. Mr. Grush? Fair assessment. Yeah. Mr. That's Fravor? Very possible. David Fravor, a retired U.S. Navy commander, picked up this on his aircraft sensors in 2004, a reading he claimed was something far superior to anything the U.S. had. You're talking something that can go into space, go someplace, drop down in a matter of seconds, do whatever it wants, and leave. And there's nothing we can do about it. In April, the head of the Pentagon's office looking into these incidents told lawmakers there were about 650 potential cases of UAPs, about half of which he said may be of interesting value. The White House said Wednesday it's still working on figuring out those answers. If your question is, uh, you know, we, do we think we need to be transparent with the American people? Of course we, we, we need to be as transparent as we can be. But the truth is, Jeremy, we don't have hard and fast answers on these things. We are trying to get smarter on it and the answers are written in the scriptures but people continue to ignore the words of yahweh bahashem yahweh which are speaking of and concerning through the mouths of the prophets but the world doesn't consider nor do they care so when judgment begins to occur that's when they're going to try to run and to and fro to seek out the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh So, with that, I will conclude the lesson here. You brothers and sisters can continue watching the rest at your own leisure. We are at the third minute and 30 second mark of this nine minute and 51 second min uh, video. So, uh, with that, I say Shalom to the elect. Also, we refer to second as the 13th chapter, and uh, there's a scripture in Revelation 12 as well. So, many scriptures concern the chariots. So with that I say shallow one.